Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new around here, hi my name is Melissa, welcome, join the family. Today as you can see by the title it's XX Revolution, Double X Revolution, Part 2 Tested. I'm going to be using the, oh, the blue palette obviously. Um, I got a lot of requests in my first video to use this so that is what we've done. I'm using a lot of the same products and some of my favourites mixed in to see how it will go. I'm not going to be doing like an eight hour wear test to be honest, it's already been on for like three hours because I take a long time doing my makeup and just relax, but I am going to go into like natural light, I'm going to go outside and we're going to see how it looks. Um, this is it right now. Very pleased, I've got a few kind of stumbles in there, but you'll see that. I'm going to be doing like a makeup revolution week, I'm just going to do heaps of makeup revolution videos in a row. None of this is sponsored by the way, all of this stuff was sent to me in PR very kindly but the videos aren't sponsored in any way but yeah I just want to spend like a week testing all of the new stuff, some of the old stuff and just having like a makeup revolution drugstore week. Um, so I will test some of the other stuff that we haven't tested in, oh sh in this video or yesterday's video so yeah. Anyway I'm going to shut up, if you want to see part 2 keep on watching. We're going to begin with eyes because I'm using blue all out scary so yeah what is this experiment palette most requests to use this one so that's what we're gonna do i aim to please so yeah i'm gonna take the lightest of the two mattes quads scare me there are not enough shadows to play with wait i haven't primed my own i am not focused right i am gonna just pop this on the lower lash line first just because I want to do like a rounded shape I've been doing a lot of like smoked out looks and I feel like I should do a different shape um, so I'm just going to pop this on above my crease handy little mirror I guess and just stamping it on just to get my shape Good colour, it's got a lot of pigment and I'm not even really trying to get a lot of pigment out of it, I'm just trying to like pop it on to get my shape. You know how I work. I'm just gonna pick that up on a fluffy brush and just start blending the edges. A lot of you will know quads aren't something I use a lot because there just isn't a whole lot of option. Um, I feel like this colour matches my eye colour really well. Yeah, I mean, I've got two mattes to play with and two shimmers. And that for me is not a lot of choice. But we'll make something work. I'm not doing a smoked out look, but I still want some height over here because that's where my eyes hooded. And it'll drag it up a bit. Do you know how much I want to make this a big smoky look? <laughs> I'm going to just take a clean brush, just wiggle this around the very edges so now I'm going to take this deep deep matte navy I guess it's like fairly kick up -y in the pan just so you know I'm going to focus this more in the crease using this great little brush literally just find the hollow with the brush and focus the shadow in there all the way to that inner corner. I'm just packing this on again, not really trying to blend it. Pigmented, blendable, yeah, I mean really, really good so far. I'm going to take that deeper shade again, but this time on like a bigger, fluffier brush. Just try and blend it a little bit into the other mat. I think if I was in charge, the smallest palette she would be able to buy would be six shades. So then you could have four mattes for blending and two shimmers. And that would be ideal. And I'll go back in with that lighter matte. Soften the lines between the deeper one and the lighter one. What was that? I'm really holding the brush at the end because I'm not wanting to put a lot of pressure on. Just wanting them to encourage to blend together on their own. Okay, I'm going to do the under the brow highlight just now. This is the lightest metallic. 
Vodafone are phoning me because I forgot to pay my bill yesterday. <laughs> Paid it now. I'm just going to use this dry plonk it on under the brow. It works well. It's just a little bit of highlight. I'll go back in with that clean brush. Just wiggle that where my mattes meet that brow bone highlight. Okay, so now for obviously the star of the show. I mean, even just looking at the palette, you can tell that's the best one. It's it's kind of dual chromey. It's definitely like blue to purple. It's very hard to pick up dual chromes on camera. And it's got like tiny little particles of glitter in it. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it's yeah, it's definitely dual chrome. And high end or drugstore metallics always work better wet. So this is my Primark primer water. I like it because it's cheap and. Uh, I could never fathom using like Fix Plus to wet my brushes. We have not posh here. I am gonna pop this all over my lid. And I'm pretty sure angels are singing in the background. It's a, quite a crumbly shadow. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't put this on when my base is already on. I'm just placing it on my actual eyelid. This shadow, I mean, doesn't feel like makeup revolution. This feels like a whole other league, to be quite honest. And I'm gonna pick it up on my finger. Just because sometimes when shadows have little particles of glitter in it, they don't really pick up on your brush. But when you pat it on with your finger, it kind of takes it to the next level and you get the glittery particles. Yeah, I mean, that's a high-end metallic, just is. Now, because of my kind of eye shape, I don't really suit when a metallic just stops in my crease, which is in my opinion, so I'm gonna pick it up on a brush, but I'm just gonna keep it dry. And I'm just gonna blend that blue into my crease, just a pinch. Just my preference. I don't like the harsh line where it stops in my crease. If you've got like big deep set eyes, I think it really looks nice when the line's a bit harsher. But I think when you've got some hooded eyes, it's nicer to kind of blend it. And last up, that one again. Let's wet it, because we can, we're adults. Pop that in the inner corner. It's nice, I think there's almost something quite retro about like silvers and blue together, which I quite like. Okay, I'm going to clean up my fallout and we're going to move on our skin. I don't want this video as long as the last one. I'm going to use the same foundation that I used in my last video. I know a lot of you want me to try the black one and I will. 100% will, but I want to try this with my like preference base prep. Just to see what I think and then we'll see it in natural light as well. I just, I think it's important to see how this sits over my normal prep. My prep that I've been doing recently and just adoring is my Makeup Revolution Hydration Boost. To be honest, any moisturiser, but I really like this one. And my Becca Backlight, Backlight? I never know what it is. Backlight Priming Filler. So I'm just gonna pop that on. It's not a very nice day though for natural light, but maybe that's a good thing, having it in lots of different lightings. And then I just take like two pumps of my Backlight Priming Filter. I'm just mix it all in. Just, my skin just feels so moisturised, so moist, so healthy, and it's got a nice sheen to it, you know? Honestly, I really started to fall for the Becca. I've, only, I've been using it for what, a couple of months now? And phew, I like it. I just do. Yeah, we're just going to use. 5.5 because my concealer should like lighten me up where I need it. And so that was two pumps. Let me just blend this in over my tried and true trusted base. We may be social distancing, but there's about 10,000 people outside my window, so please ignore that. This is like the most dewy, glossy base, and it's 
full coverage. I mean, in my opinion, that is full coverage foundation. And if you like Dew, that combination of products, wow. Ooh. I'm liking it. Just, it's, I mean, it's reminding me of the Conceal and Hydrate. I would say I get a pretty darn similar finish when I use the Becca and the Makeup Revolution Moisturiser with my Conceal and Hydrate. I will very quickly cream contour with C12. It's like there's an open air nursery outside for kids outside my window. Concealer blends real nice over that base, and I'll use CX3 like under my eyes, that kind of thing. Just where concealer goes, you. Yeah. I got a message from Adam who owns Makeup Revolution, because uh, obviously I tagged them all, like all the brands, in my um, stories that I post to say I've got a new video up. He was like, oh, good video. It was a long one. I was like, yeah. And then I got to thinking, like, how when I'm doing a review, I never think, how will the brand feel? Like, really. It doesn't really cross my mind. When I say good things, I don't think, oh, they'll like me because I'm saying nice things. And when I say bad things, I don't think, oh, they won't like that. But then after he messaged me, I realised he see my video, I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> He's not going to be impressed by my review of like the glittery moisturiser you just gotta be honest or there's literally no point my goodness this is like the dewiest my skin has literally ever been if that kid could stop shouting it would be great news for me i get uh, really badly affected when children are crying and screaming not anger affected like anxious affected <laughs> I will just quickly powder off camera because it's not going to be um, any of the new stuff and then I'll come back. Um, I'm just going to use my Jeffree Star powder in translucent because I adore it. It's fair, hold on. And it's a product that I would like to use with this and see how it goes. So I'll be back in one second. I've powdered and I've gone ahead and contoured as well just because I don't have a new one and we'll go back in with the face fix setting spray. I think a lot of you are quite excited that it smells like coconut and it really does but it's not like too much coconut it's just like nice coconut if that makes any sense. Obviously like most of my dewiness is gone because I like to mattify my face but it's just what happens in it. I am of course going to use this gorgeous face palette again. Mm, trying not to break my nails. This one. Go in with a bronzer, probably maybe the, oh I don't know, I'll definitely use the bronzer anyway. I might use another blush just because I feel like a peach blush would be better with this look and this is just very pink. Just so pigmented. You know it's fine, it's just, I think my main problem with it Apart from it is very dark when the other two products in here are, I feel quite clearly for lighter skin, um, is it's very matte. It's a very flat bronzer. I'm not sure if it's the tone or what, but it is just very matte, very flat. And I like a bit of a sheen in my bronzer, personally. There we go. But it is nice, it works, it's pretty. I think I'm gonna use the like lighter peachy single highlighter. This one here, strobe. I just think it's really pretty. It's just so pretty. I have a feeling they're gonna price this highlighter quite expensive, like 10 pounds, just from like how they're pricing other things. I reckon like 10, 11, 12 pounds even, because they are obviously putting this at a much higher price point and I was thinking, would I pay that for a Makeup Revolution highlighter? 
and it's it's tough because I feel like even if Makeup Revolution are releasing better quality products, the price point shouldn't go up so much that it then becomes like unaffordable. And if they are going to release a much more expensive, better brand, they should just completely rebrand and have it as a separate brand so that you're not thinking Makeup Revolution affordable, but oh, I can't afford this stuff. Do you know what I mean? So, but saying that, this highlighter is one of those very kind of lit from within, wet looking glossy highlighters and I have to say I really like it. It reminds me of a high-end formula. It just, it does feel like I'm putting a high-end highlighter on so I probably would pay for that um, even though it's Makeup Revolution at a higher price point, do you know what I mean? I'm going to put on a um, peach blush just because I don't want to put pink on with this look. I don't think it'll suit it. So one second. This is just the L'Oreal Life's a Peach first. I mean, they might be wrong. They might price it really cheap, but I doubt they will. And then I'll go on with a bit of Benefit Georgia because it's got a lovely sheen. And it'll just melt into my highlight. You know how I'll be when it comes to glowy blushes. Dash more spray now we've put all our powders on. It's nice. It's not my favourite, but it's nice. Say hi to the video, Amanda. I guess we should just keep fiddling with the eyes now and just kind of finish them off. I'll take, oh, I'm scared of fallout, like really scared of fallout because they are quite fallouty. I'll take the lighter shade and run this along. Really tapping off the excess here. It is just one of those palettes that is a little messy, so just be warned. Oh, I dipped in the wrong shade. And yeah, I don't have another shade to like blend this out with, so I'll just use this brush that's got pretty much nothing on it now. Just connect it up with the top. This is going nicely over a set base. Just be aware I am using like the tiniest amount on my brush just to avoid the fallout. Um, but it is applying nice. And then I'll use a, a like a angled liner brush and this deeper shade and just stamp this along the lash like. Sorry, I know you can't really see, but this will give me fallout and this will ruin my life so. I just want to be careful just to make sure it's blended. Let's go back in with that inner corner. I really want to emphasize that a bit more with that like a silvery shade. I was trying to find my Milani Navy eyeliner but I can't find it so I'm just going to use um, this Urban Decay one. I just think it'll be nicer than black eyeliner. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I'll throw brows and lashes on and we'll come back. I'm quite happy with that eye to be honest. Usually I wouldn't be happy like just playing with four eyeshadow colours. But I mean that gore, that I literally can't go over how stunning the blue is on the lid. Honestly, I can't. It is just it's luxuriously stunning. Right, lads, I used Sosu lashes in Paris. You can only get these in Primark and you can't get them right now, obviously. MUA TLC lip liner, Makeup Revolution Matte in Raw. I'll link it all and then I went in with the gloss on top. Now, I am done, obviously, but I have to point something out and I don't know if you can notice what it is from a distance. And it's kind of shocking and I don't know what's happening and I'm not impressed, but I'm gonna try and fix it My Eyeshadow my lid is breaking up especially on this eye that could be because this eye's been on longer But yeah, it's breaking up. Isn't that weird because it's not like a wet formula Eyeshadow it is a dry eyeshadow. I'm gonna try and fix it now because I think I just should. It's what I would do in regular life if this happened. So I'm just gonna grab a brush and we have to be so careful or fall out. Um, I'm just gonna cover up where it's breaking up. 
I'm just using it dry. Maybe it's because I wet it, but that does not usually happen. Very odd indeed. It's odd, isn't it? Like that doesn't usually happen. Very suspicious. Since I'm zoomed in, let me show you what we're looking like. I really like these lashes. I think they're good for this look. And that's our skin. The glow, the bronzer, and the eyes. I just use my UH dip brow like I always do. I will say I feel like this foundation is quite nice to my forehead wrinkles. Like it's not emphasizing them and it didn't after eight hours when I tried it the other day. Do you know what? I'm looking in the mirror and that blue is still continuing to um, break up a little bit, which is just odd. I don't know if it's maybe the setting spray because it has, I think it's got coconut oil in it. Yeah, I, th I think this has coconut oil in it. I can't remember. And if it does, that could explain why that's happening. So it might just be a case of it's not the best to use. I don't know. Um, this is obviously the finished makeup. Like, I'm going to go through into natural lighting in a second and I'll go outside and show you it as well probably in the car to be honest and um, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the makeup overall I love the foundation over my usual primers it looks really nice concealer looks nice nothing looks cakey to me but it's not a natural look it's not a natural finish on these products but yeah I am happy and the blues are stunning I just wish that it wasn't breaking up on my eyelid that's really annoying but i have to say i mean that palette if that problem wasn't happening i would say this is like a super high-end palette but yeah that problem is kind of getting in the way a little bit anyway let's go see it in natural light and i just want to go outside i just have to go outside because i'm just so bored of being inside here we are in natural light but just like through the window i think this is probably too bright Definitely Melissa style makeup. I really like it. Hair is annoying, but yeah, um, I don't know. It's just a bit hard to show you, I feel like, in here with the natural light because I don't know what my camera settings are. That is it. I am gonna put a brow on and we'll go outside and just see what it's like there. I didn't put a brow on. It's way too hot for this cardigan, but this top is like, this top would show a lot of side boob, but I don't think being outside is gonna help. You see my makeup? Is it? I don't think so. I'm in the big park. This is my first non-picking up a prescription or getting food outing that I've had in two months. Yeah, I really don't think you're going to be able to see my makeup in the natural light. Maybe I should wait till it's a bit more shaded or go in the shade and show you. I'm never going to take being able to go out and do what we want for granted again after this. I'm just sitting in my car because I'm going to go home now had my one hour government allotted to exercise. That's my makeup in the shade. Still looks good. That blue is definitely still breaking up on my eyes, which is weird. Um, but yeah, very happy with it out in the natural light. Like I still think I look okay. I look makeup-y, but I look okay. Anyway, I'll see you back at home. I'm gonna blast my music. We gonna party, 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 party. all over the place. You know, I had planned to keep this makeup on for like two hours today because I just wasn't in the mood to do a long makeup day. But it's now like almost eight o'clock. I just had a, a Zoom meeting with a bunch of patrons and we've just been farting around drinking beer. So that was nice. Anyway, so yeah, this makeup's been on for about six hours and you can probably see even from there, it's really creased in my smile lines. But apart from that, like it looks all right. 
And if this was like a normal day, I would just like fix this with my sponge and my powder brush and then that like disappears. So I'll zoom you in. That is how we look after like six hours and I think you should note the eyes are still um, breaking up and I really do think it is the setting spray so I think I'll just have to like use this again on another day. But everything else is good and I've been like leaning on my hands, you know, doing everything and it's not kind of come off or anything. I've only had one beer, I'm not drunk. So yeah, I have to say I really like everything. I'm just upset about the eyeshadow but I really do feel that is the setting spray's fault and like smile increasing and stuff like that doesn't bother me in a normal day because I can just fix it. Um, so I'm I'm pleased, but I'm gonna go now because it's so late and I actually have not eaten today yet So I need to have some dinner and yeah, that is testing day part two Like I said, we're gonna have heaps of videos like in a row makeup revolution I think tomorrow I'll film with like my old stuff and then the next day we'll try out new stuff And we're just gonna have like drugstore fun for like a week So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, give it a big thumbs up It really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below um, let me know what you think. Do you think the blue is because of the setting spray? And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's a fun place to be. I don't really promote it anymore, but I do have a Patreon if you want to join. We've got a WhatsApp group, a Facebook group, a Discord. We do, I do lives. My patrons do lives. We do Zooms. It's a real fun time. The link is down below. And yeah, I'm going to piss off. I hope you enjoyed this video. I need to take this off and eat dinner. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.